Collecting coins is a lot of fun, but the next level goes around the paper side, right? And the problem is finding it, because it's paper. And if you look at our history, over 100 years ago, we had some ornate, big, giant notes. They call them saddle blankets. Well, tonight, we have the last one ever made. That was 1923. Big George is on it. And then in 19, and again, that will correct the third line. It's not 923 Washington. It's 1923. There we go. Thank you. The small size note, the way we have it in our pockets, right? Started in 1928. This is the last of those super size notes. The big blue, which is silver certificates. And look at our price, $79.95. It is a beautiful note, hand-selected, circulated note, and it's priced wow. So again, it's the last large silver certificate issued by the Federal Reserve. Uh, it was replaced by the small size in 1928. We recall the funny backstory. That's what came after these. These were originally redeemable for silver, for a dollar in silver or peace dollars at that time. They're also called the blue notes uh, because of that blue seal on the left and on the right as well, where it says the, the number one. Now these are circulated problem-free notes, no rips, no tears. Each one will be in a hard plastic currency lens, just like you see on your screen. And for under $80, our competition's over 110 uh, at least. And well, these and here's the other side. And again, this, there's a very large currency deal. Very, very large paper deal. And, the, and inside of it was about 500 of these beautiful 23s. Right? So we were lucky that this deal was brought to us. We do a lot of work with currency since they wanted to sell lots of notes. We went through it. We took 43 notes because everything else was not the quality we wanted to see and obviously we would not want to show it to you. So that means there are 457 notes that are on the marketplace right now with others. With others. So you're going to be seeing this note in the near future in other places. These are the cream of it. These were the best notes in the and entire Yeah, And they looked deal. at us and said, you got to be kidding me. You're not, not, not even a half the notes? I said, look at these notes. There's rips. There's dark. They're, again, when, when, because they're, cir marker. they're circulated notes, we know that. But because of their folds, if they weren't preserved properly, those folds get to be very dirty over time, which means it looks like you got a hopscotch. You know, and again, that's not the intent here. So we, they, they came back to us and said, hey, are you gonna, well, what about these other notes we're going to have in the near future here? Um, and we said, yeah, we, 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 we'd love to look at them all, but we have a standard. We always had a standard. It's the reason why we don't get any returns is because they are what they're supposed to be. People expect the best, and they expect that quality. And now, by the way, the prices you referenced. Now, two weeks ago, before this deal kind of surfaced and played around, they didn't have any $1 silver certificates up. All of a sudden, now they have one up at $111 an ounce. I wonder where those came from. <laughs> Just, did I say that out loud or was I saying it between my ears in our conversation here? You said it um, out loud on national television. <laughs> oh, so that means everybody knows, maybe. <laughs> uh, but the bottom line is this. It's a great looking piece. Now the history. The large notes came after the Civil War. The government, the treasury, creating paper currency to stabilize all the local regional banks. Because we had no, if you made a note in your backyard and you went to Oklahoma and they never saw it before, how are they going to know if it was real or not? It says First Bank of or whatever, right? So we nationalized the currency. There are only four large size $1 silver certificates. The 86 Martha, go figure, Martha Washington's on our first silver certificate. Then you have 1896 Educational, which had Martha and George on the back. Then you have the 1899, that beautiful black eagle, which also had Lincoln and Grant on it, usually nicknamed the Lincoln and Grant note. And then this one, the end of the era. George, 1923. A silver dollar from 1923. What do they go for, right? What do they sell for in the marketplace? I'll get your rolls of 23 piece dollars, as I referenced. We went through 500 notes to find these 43 we have in the show tonight. Different animal. 
Different animal. Great place to be, however. Because it's, it's, I mean, it's just, it's a great part of history. I mean, and I understand the reason why they made this stuff. Think about it. You go to the bank, you give them five silver dollars, and they give you five one dollar silver certificates. You put it in your pocket, and you go travel across the country. You don't have to have all this clinky stuff, right? So if you want to carry fifty dollars in currency, well, at this time, we traded with precious metals. You can still bring a pinch of gold in and get your stuff. And that was only 100 years ago. So it's kind of a unique storyline, but tonight it's the best because the quality is there and the price is there. Yep. We gotta put a 30 second clock up, please. Uh, many, very, very difficult to find, but it, we already referenced, we went through over 400 notes to find just 43 of these to bring out to you tonight. Um, and they're moving very, very quickly. There are many calls on the line. Many of them were also collected and destroyed, like we re uh, Steve just referenced. When you went into the bank and you redeemed them, um, they were collected and destroyed. So what's out there in, in the world, Well, these are the... That's a great point. We'll spend an extra second talking about that. Because in 1928, they made a smaller version. It was still worth a dollar. So you went into the bank, you gave them the big one, they gave you a small one, and they destroyed it. 1963, they pulled silver certificates all sizes, which means if there were anything left, it was destroyed again. So the chances of having any of these survive is the storyline. And we know they're not. And if they are, well, they don't look this nice, do they? Give us a call.